how many drinks did you have today? I mean, this I, afternoon. I don't want to say because maybe people will judge me because they're like, that's not that much. He shouldn't feel that drunk. I had one drink before I left my house. It's called Fernet. Have you ever heard of Fernet? Yeah, isn't it a digestive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a weird Italian, like bitter alcohol. Yeah. They call it an Amaro, or it uh, also can be considered a digestive or an aperitif, which means you drink it before or after your meal. You drink it before your meal because it's supposed to make you feel hungrier, mm -hmm. which, like, is true in a way, but all alcohol does that. Right. I'll talk. I'll talk about science if you want. Me to. I I would love to hear about alcohol science. Alcohol increases gastric secretions. Ah. Which, when you eat food naturally, your body increases gastric secretions to help digest food. But alcohol, one of its side effects, just happens to be that, which if you haven't eaten, makes you feel hungry. Scotch is something that I don't drink that much because it's it's so fun. <laughs> it's earthy and, and smoky and you know like the difference between scotch and other whiskeys is that it's the grains that are used in the process are smoked underneath uh, burning peat which is like grass right. or turf and like I guess the, apparently the proper way to drink scotch is um, neat uh, which is no ice or with a few drops of spring water just a just a few drops of water to open it up. A couple of drops. Just honestly, I'm lying about all of this. No, <laughs> you're not. This is all true. This is easily true. I know true. a lot. I know. <laughs> I, I seem to uh, get really obsessed and interested in things that involve food or beverage. I yeah. used to cook. I used to cook in restaurants. I used to brew my own beer. Uh huh. Um, but hard alcohol is something in the last like three or four years that I got really interested in. Rye and bourbon are like the two American whiskeys. Yes. And the difference is bourbon is sweeter, rye is like spicier. To make bourbon or rye, you use a, a mash of different grains. Uh, wheat, rye, uh -huh. corn, uh -huh. uh, barley, and those are the main ones. And to be considered a bourbon, you need to be 51% corn. And then ryes are at least 51% rye. One legally you have to call a bourbon, and one legally you have to call a rye. There's some actual shit going on with American whiskey. And that's, you can't you can't make a whiskey in, in Oregon and call it a scotch. Because it has to be made in scotch. You can't, yeah, you can't make scotch. You can say else. that it's similar to a scotch yeah. or whatever. So you, how many drinks do you, do you would you say you had? How many drinks Tonight? Did you say? Yeah. Oh, that, that was the question that led yeah. to all How? of it. So I'd say I had like three to four ounces of a 40 proof alcohol uh -huh. at home, which is the equivalent to like like two or three drinks. <laughs> If you go to a bar that really measures how much, yeah. if you're like, ah, oh, give me a whiskey on the rocks, and they give you an ounce and a half of whiskey, it looks like such bullshit in a glass. Yeah. And then okay. I got to the bar and I drank two whiskeys on the rocks. I had some rye, which is the equivalent. Oh, wow, dude, it's really adding up. And then I, while we were about to shoot the intro, I went in and got another shot. So uh -huh. I'd say 10 to 11 drinks. <laughs> 10 to 11 drinks, but if you asked me and you didn't, you said don't break it down, I would say I've had one, two, I've had four drinks. Okay. <laughs>